Well, welcome back to the National Real Estate Cafe with Don Gatling and Gino Fronte. For over two years now, we've been sharing with you need to know, want to know, should know about real estate, finance, the markets, and so much more, especially now. It's crazy out there. Don's on a roll today because this is supposed <laughs> to be my turn today, but that's okay. No, well, no, this is your slides. Oh, you did on this stuff. Okay. All right, yeah, all right. That's why I'm like letting you go. I'm just going to sit back and listen <laughs> and learn just like the rest of you. All right. Well, as we talked about, we talked about mortgage liquidity. This is what Don and I are keeping our eye on right now because we think it's going to impact the values uh, of the real estate market going forward. Mm -hmm. So let's take a look at this slide. And this talks about Mortgage Credit Availability Index. I know you haven't <laughs> heard about that very often. Mackay! Right? Mackay! Mackay! <laughs> so uh, we're going to start watching these reports because we think these reports are going to give us some insight into what's happening as far as what, do we anticipate continued growth in our market mm -hmm. or not continued growth in our market. And a lot of times people are concerned about affordability right now. Sure. When we're hearing the as bubble talk, mm -hmm. everybody's talking about affordability. So a way to combat affordability as interest rates rise is by changing guidelines, Don, right? Mm -hmm. So the MCAI will let us take a look at that. Let's take a look at the next slide. Ah, I like that. Oh. A little bit of availability. This means the availability of you obtaining credit to obtain a home, and it's getting better and better for right. you. Right. So you remember we used to say it was nearly impossible to get a loan. Yeah. And you can see by this chart that it's becoming much easier. Now, you and I still know that it's nowhere near the craziness of 05, 06, 07, no. nothing like that at all. But this is a good sign. So we'll be watching this trend to see if deregulation is actually- Proposed deregulation. Right. Proposed deregulation actually helps to continue to add liquidity to our markets. All right. So you right now is a great time to get in the market. We keep informing you, get off the fence, get in the market. Rates are still great. Prices are going to keep going up. We have pent-up demand for 10 years. Mm -hmm. And the availability to get loans is probably better than you thought. We're obtain helping people get into loans all the time. As far as zero down for our vets, 3.5% down FHA, flexibility. Look at it. Talk to a professional. Talk to a professional lender, not just somebody who's quoting rates. We need okay, somebody so, who's going to go So something we have to talk about here is we'll do a whole special show on this, but big banks are getting out of lending and this is something that's a reason why they're getting out of lending because they're not putting out any portfolio product because of regulation. So we'll talk about that another day. All right. You heard right here in the National Real Estate Cafe. Get these sent right to your phone by texting NREC to the number 58885 or check out our website at nrecafe.com. Share with your friends.